Louisiana Beer Reviews. Here we are about 3.30 in the afternoon. Daylight savings time. It's about 71 degrees. It's extremely clear. Okay, Reutberger Kloster Beer, Export Hell Beer. That would mean, uh, well, it's an export lager or um, it's bright, Hellas is bright. Um, sort of like um, Heilerman's special export type thing, except this is made with the the Reinheitsgebot uh, guidelines instead of the, uh, you know, special export has corn or rice adjunct. 5.1%, so it's similar that, with that. Uh, Uh, style. Okay. This is uh, this Reutberger is at the foot of the Alps in southern Germany. Uh, was established by cloistered nuns, Kloster beer. I don't know, a lot of smoke, but it's blowing away in this kind of a, a windy day. I believe during the revolutionary period around the turn of the century, 1799 to 1801, that era, I think the monastery or the uh, convent, I should say, was taken away from the, the nuns, but it was established by them in 1677 when um, we had the First Reich, the Holy Roman Empire of the German nation. Okay. So this, this outfit, this company has been around in whatever ownership set up for hundreds of years. Like I said, very bright, clear, golden, straw golden, bubbly, and a beautiful white head. It's turning into a spongy white head. I could smell it as soon as I, you could hear that hiss, I could smell that uh, wonderful barley malt. And I'm smelling it now. <laughs> Rich. Biscuity barley malt. If you drink enough of, the, enough of these European beers, you'll know what I'm talking about. Think of Heineken, but with a smokier aroma. It almost has faint hints of Aach beer. A little sweet, sugary to an extent. Let's go in with the flavor. So it does, the smell is wonderful now. On, Beer Advocate, they're saying it's very good. Then a rapier, they're saying eh, 49 out of 100. But then they're saying 95 out of 100 for the style. So what is that telling you? Eh, we don't really like the beer, but in the style, it's almost perfect. So, translated, they don't like the style. Well, that doesn't mean the beer's bad because you don't like the style, okay? A lot of people don't like um, chiladas, but that doesn't mean that chilada is bad. those grassy hops. Water, barley malt, hops, and yeast, that's what you're getting. It's just so classic German style. So much in the classic Germanic style. Five point one. That's just a tick above Budweiser. Now Budweiser is made with rice, and for those, and it's, this is a pretty nice looking bottle design. I bought it at uh, Dorgnax. One pint. 0.9 fluid ounces. I think when I did the uh, revisit of the uh, the other one, I said 1.9 ounces. No, it's 1.9 ounces, 500 milliliters. Uh, um, that was the export dunkel I had revisited. People that are used to a Budweiser. 
they're going to find that it's this beer. They, they might not like it at first because this beer is going to be a lot more bitter in the back end of the taste. It's not going to have as soft of a or a smooth of a presentation. But if you drink enough, you get used to it, you'll find that it does have it does have softness, it does have smoothness, it does have a crisp finish. It's not super clean. You get grain, you're getting a lot of grain, that's the barley. You're getting that smokiness in the aroma, which you're not gonna get with a Budweiser. So I mean they're similar in the sense that they're lagers and they're bright. I mean this looks similar to a Budweiser. And even and it's the grass and all, but you'll get a little green thing with Budweiser in this. I mean, Anheuser Bush would be furious hearing me say that. Are you crazy? Our beer is not green. <clears throat> but um, that's the really the similarities. The differences are much more pronounced. This is a very good beer. They're saying 95 out of 100 for the style. I'll go along with that. I would feel comfortable giving this beer overall an A. Most excellent. It could be argued that it's an A+, but it's at least an A beer. A most excellent beer. You're going to pay, but if you want to play, you got to pay. So if you want to play the really great beer game, check this one out. So Les Les Bon Temps Roulet, an excellent, a most excellent beer. And uh, you do see a lot of sediment there under this direct light. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans.